Okay, so first and foremost, I think it's a wise idea and, and a very important idea for the Yankees to do some revamping in the front office. Okay? I'm not just talking about fire boo and fire cash. Okay? I'm not taking part of the tantrums. Okay, I'm talking about a couple of different specific components here. Okay? I understand bringing in analytics. I mean, the Dodgers use it, the Rays, the Orioles. Teams use it. But they use it in a way that has a balance of analytics and baseball instincts and common sense. The Yankees, to me, have become overly reliant on the analytics component. Okay? We're bringing in a bunch of Doogie Housers in the analytics world who don't have a lick of common sense. And this is where I think the Yankees need to get better combination of analytics and a, a feel of the game. Okay? Does this flow? Does this gel? Does it make sense? This is why I ask you these questions, folks. This is why, like, when I when I, I propose something, I explain things behind it. Okay? Why I want and, uh, and so on in front of Aaron Judge instead of behind Aaron Judge. Right? And so on and so forth. <clears throat> And I think from an analytics perspective, we need people to be able to come in and not only try to justify it, okay, in a, in a world in a common sense way, but we need to be, we need them to be able to talk like a fan and to a fan, and we need them to help us understand <clears throat> why they're doing this, why they're not doing this, because of the fact that it matters. It looks like a lot of fans have much better feel for baseball and the Yankees than some of these analytics folks do. And I and I won't hesitate to say that again. And I'll stand by that one. Okay? So if I'm if I'm revamping something, Aaron Boone's got a feel for the game, okay? He does he's not the he's not the best at uh post game press conferences, but who cares? I don't. They didn't bring him here to have great post game conferences, right? He's taken to the playoffs, with the exception of this year, his first five years with a weak roster. Okay? He has a feel for the game. He has a feel for his players. His players have a feel for him. They relate to each other. Okay? We need a better roster? Yes. Okay? Does that mean I'd be devastated if they got rid of Boom? No. If they moved on from Boom, so be it. Hopefully, they'll bring in somebody who will relate better and do a better job. Okay? But I'm not taking part of the fire boon, fire cashman tantrum, okay? That's played out already. And the fact is, you've got to have a better plan than that. And the fact is, to me, revamping the Yankees' front office is an absolutely critical thing to do. Because we need people like Boone, or whoever the manager is, whoever the GM is, to be able to do what they need to do without, you know, ridiculous interference, with, with ridiculous arguments. We need to stop with this hierarchy saying, well, you got to follow exactly what analytics does because dot, 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 dot. Because what? Okay, because what? And this is where I think Aaron, you know, Aaron getting Aaron Judge and, and getting Garrett Cole in on the offseason discussions with the Yankees brass will be a wise idea. I think we need a player's feel. Okay? To me, they're both the captains, the pitching captain and the offensive captain. And to me... I think that we need to know they have a better feel for their team than we do, than the game than we do. They're players, okay? And those that's a fact, no matter what people say. And why don't we find out what Aaron Judge thinks they should do? What think what? And I want to find out what Garrett Cole thinks they should do, and what they what they think is important. And then they'll maybe they'll mesh ideas. Um, they can debate with each other and discuss with each other why, what this is a better idea, and so on and so forth. Get them in as part of the conversation, at the very least. Instead of just relying on a bunch of people who are textbook smart, but lacking of a lot of areas of common sense and just feel for the game. Feel for the game is absolutely important. We need guys to bring in guys, in my opinion, again, who have a feel for the game. We need to get more out of that. Anthony Volpe, we need to get out of Jason Dominguez when he gets healthy. Oswald Peraza, Austin Wells, our veterans, okay? Okay, yes, it's a combination of underperforming veterans and 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 <clears throat> um, new kids coming up to the game and adjusting to a new hitting coach who clearly had better instincts to the game than the first one did. 
Sean Casey has a much better feel for the game and the team than Dylan Lawson did. Okay, the stats may not show right now, sexy, but again, there was at least at least a uh, let's say six to eight week adjustment period to him. But then he started getting a lot out of his players, surprisingly and pleasantly surprisingly. And I think if he's here next year with a full year with him and a full year, whoever the manager is, you get a better a better feel for the team and a better idea what they can actually do. Do I think they need a better personnel, better roster? Yes, most certainly. And we need people who can come in here and bring in better fits, better feel to the game. And that's one of the things that the old Yankees, the championship Yankees teams had. They had a feel, okay, for the game. Where the only two people on the team that I feel like I have a feel here are Cole and Judge. Or to be able to coherently explain it. Okay? And that's not enough, in my opinion. We need more guys like that. This is why I propose certain guys. And people are like, oh, you're crazy. This, this is why I propose certain people. Okay? Walker well, Juan Soto or uh, Yamamoto or a David Bednar for the bullpen. There's certain baseball-related instincts or characteristics that these guys have that, to me, would make them a good fit for this Yankee team and bring a different dynamic that the team does not currently have. Okay? That's it to me. I want to know what you think, though. This is absolutely an important thing. Okay? And again, firing Boone and firing Cash from, like, get it. People, people got a daily fee to this. But again, what does that accomplish? Our opinions don't change the facts. Okay, so make sure you subscribe to the channel so we can have more discussions like this. Difficult discussions, uncomfortable discussions, because it's stuff like this that we need to see happen for the Yankees to take the next step to become a better team, to become a better baseball team. Okay, an actual baseball team, a coherent unit, a family. All right, and it's absolutely important. I don't know if you agree with me, and it's fine if you don't. But to me, first and foremost, revamping the front office, and again, <clears throat> the whole get rid of analytics without being able to explain what analytics is, okay, is not really an argument. Okay, there was a they, they basically brought in analytics and treated it as if it was a gospel instead of a weapon for them to implement with everything else. Okay. At the expense of a lot of other things. And they lost a the feel for the game. And that channeled from the top to the bottom. They lost a the feel for the game. It was obvious. Because of an over-reliance on analytics. Lower the relaunch angle. A couple other things. Okay, bat speed, bat velocity. Miles per hour off the bat. This, that, and whatever else. Okay? We, you know, we need more than that. It's particularly launch angle. Nobody gives a damn about launch angle. We need contact hitters who slump less often than people who are overly reliant on power and for shorter periods of time, who put the ball in play more often, who help put the power guys in a position to capitalize on their skill set because they're getting on base, whether it's a hit or a walk or whatever. They're putting the ball in play, moving guys over. They're doing a lot of things that a lot of the power guys don't do, a lot of guys on this team don't currently do, Okay. And when they do do it, it's an exciting thing and it's a pleasant surprise. But we, we can't have it as a surprise. We need it to be a regular thing here, which is why being selective and intelligent with who they bring in and trade for this offseason and the next season after that is an important idea, which is why I think a front office with a different mindset, a different philosophy on how to build this team, how to develop this team is absolutely critical. Let's talk about it. I want to know what you think.